Are you facing issues with Windows 11? Do you want to go back to Windows 10? In this video, you will know how to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Windows 11 gives a 10 day of time limit to go back. You will also see how to increase the time limit and what to do if you have crossed the time limit. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. Why downgrade to Windows 10? We're not saying that you should downgrade from Windows 11. It's an excellent operating system. However, Windows 11 is in its initial days and you could face some bugs. Windows 11 requires additional system resources, so if your system is old, it could lag and will not work correctly. If that's the case, you can downgrade to Windows 10. Windows 11 gives you 10 days to revert to Windows 10. You will see the Go Back option in System, Recovery Settings if you are within the time limit. If this option is disabled, that means you have crossed the time limit. Also, if you have installed Windows 11 using ISO, this option won't be available. It only appears for 10 days and when you have internally updated it. Don't worry, you can still go back to Windows 10, but we will discuss that later. Let's thank our sponsor, Malwarefox, for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. First, let's see how you can increase the time limit. In case you're about to cross the time limit and want to try Windows 11 more, you can increase the time limit for up to 60 days. Open the command prompt as administrator. Copy the command from the description, paste it, and press enter. You can set any value between 10 and 60 days. Downgrade to Windows 10 within time limit. Open Settings. Under the System tab, click on Recovery. Then under the Go Back to Previous Windows, click on Go Back. You should plug in your device so that it won't shut off during the process. Then it will ask you the reason for going back. Select the appropriate option. Click Next. Then it will suggest you install the upgrades to fix your issues. Just skip it. Then it will show you that some apps and settings will be removed. Don't worry, your data in the C drive won't be affected using this step. Click Next. Now confirm your action. It will take some time to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Once your PC is ready, enter your password and log in. What if you have crossed the time limit to downgrade? If you have crossed the time limit to downgrade or if you have installed Windows 11 using ISO, you can still go to Windows 10, but you'll have to install it using Media Creation Tool. This process won't affect the data on other drives except for the C drive. It could delete your settings, apps, and files on C drive. You'll see what data will be kept during the process, so don't worry as of now. Go to the link in the description and download Media Creation Tool for Windows 10. Install it and run it. Accept the terms and conditions. Then select the Upgrade This PC Now option. Click Next. Now it will download Windows 10 and prepare for the upgrade. It might take some time depending on your internet speed. Now accept the license terms again. You will see the What to Keep option. If you see only the Nothing option, all of your data on the C drive will be deleted. If you are seeing Keep Personal Files and Apps, then you won't lose anything. If you see the Nothing option and don't want to continue, go back and exit the process. But if you're going to continue, you should take a backup of your essential files to any drive other than C. Click Next. Then after some time, it will show the Ready to Install option. If you want to change anything, click on Change what to keep. Otherwise, click on Install. The process will start, and your system might restart several times during the process. It will take a while to complete, so make sure to plug in your device. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.